All right, hey, I am, my name is Jeremy, and this is my wife, Evelyn Mink, and we are here in Bentonville, Arkansas. Um, she actually runs a doggy daycare business here. Hi. Um, and the way she's been impacted is her business is non-existent. She has Done. zero clients whatsoever. Nobody's traveling, so therefore they don't need anybody to watch her dogs. We're in a or dog walks. Dog, or dog walks, walks are done. Done. So we're in an area um, <laughs> where that's needed because people travel so much and and that's non-existent. Um, we also have a recruiting company. We work and hire for uh, truck drivers uh, throughout the United States. Um, there are no CDL testing facilities, so people that are in school or wanting to enter the workforce can't. So the guys that are already in the school right now um, can't go get their license and start driving either, so nobody's there to hire them. So they basically don't have a job. So these companies that need toilet paper or groceries or uh, reefer loads or whatever household goods delivered to the house, they can't get the drivers um, there or have orientations just due to states being shut down, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, et cetera. So uh, people can't leave the state or get back in or have orientation sites. Well, um, and not only that, Jeremy, but people are scared to switch jobs, which that's our business too, is recruiting them from one job to the next to get them into something better. So when you've got one person in Connecticut that can get to a better job, they're not going to switch jobs. Therefore, that's affecting our income as well because that's how we make a living is by recruiting truck drivers right. so they don't want to leave their families they don't have daycare to take care of their kids that's switch. a big one they don't have daycare so people can't leave their families at home right now they don't have a reliable source to watch their children they don't have a third party to do that they can't travel on a bus or an airplane to get to an orientation so it's hard to get the rental cars um a shortage on those it's just it's impacted us in in all kinds of ways in such a short amount of time and everything that we get comes from our drivers, so it's gonna it's gonna be a bigger impact than what we're seeing now. Even though there's a necessity for for freight being moved, how long can we last? Well, well, my dog business has is <laughs> already, done. That was done two weeks so, ago, so that income was already gone. So my right. hair is not done. <laughs> we still have uh, you know people needing a job, as you can see our our board over here, which is normally full. Is that it? That's it. That's, That's our it. hiring board. So, so we're we kind of starting two. from scratch here because of the big. Uh, yeah. We got another couple of weeks in us. I've got some food in the fridge. The initial shock of everything, I think, has uh, has impacted us. So hopefully things will pick up. But as of right now, it doesn't look too promising. So reach out to us for any questions you have. 479-381-5011. Um, and hopefully you guys send, uh, send help.